a free general purpose Azure SQL DB for the lifetime of your subscription today on Tales from the Field. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, welcome, my new friends. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. Speaking of subscribe, thank you to all those subscribers, old and new. We got momentum now. Let's see where we can take this thing. We have content on Tales from the Field that we drop on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have the Community Roundtable, where we share blogs and videos put together by you, the members of the Azure Data Community, for the Azure Data Community. We also drop this thing we like to call MS Tech Bits on Mondays and Wednesdays. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. During the most recent Future Data Driven Summit, Bob Ward made an exciting announcement. We now have an Azure SQL database we can use for free for the lifetime of our subscription. This free general purpose Azure SQL database is available to us regardless of our subscription type, as well as there isn't already a SQL database with the free offer applied. Okay, let's go over to our marketplace. Let's go to SQL databases and let's create a single database. Here on our create SQL database screen, I filled in a little information. I have my subscription, my resource group, Data ADS Migration RG. I'm gonna call the database name Data Frequency DB because it's a free SQL DB, right? That's what we're here for. All right, so I'm gonna apply offer preview. You're gonna see something cool here. When we apply the offer preview, we're gonna see the cost summary screen. Look at here in our cost summary screen. Our first 32 gigabytes of storage are free. Our first 100,000 vCore seconds are free. Our overage billing is disabled. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. And our compute cost is $0, folks, $0. Okay, let's create a new server. On the Create SQL Database Server screen, I filled in my server name, Data Free DB Server. I've thrown it into the location East US. Check our documentation as we are rolling this out to different regions week by week. So make sure it's available in the region you choose. I'm gonna use authentication method of use Microsoft Entra only authentication. And for my set Microsoft Entra admin, I'm gonna put in my email there, Data at Microsoft.com. You would use a security group here within your environment, providing the individuals on your team that need this level of admin access rather than just a sole individual having this access. Okay, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the screen. We're gonna hit okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down a little bit. All right, this is where the new pieces begin. So you can see here we have behavior when free offer limit is reached. So when we hit 100,000 seconds of vCore usage, our SQL database is gonna go into a pause state until the next month. That's what I want. I want my free database and I don't wanna have any overcharge. Or we could select continue using database for additional charges. So once we hit those 100,000 vCore seconds, we will start charging a subscription. I don't want that to happen. I want this to remain completely free. Okay, let's go to configure our database. Here on our configured database screen, we're gonna see that the free database offer preview is applied. Once again, we have the ability to choose the behavior. I'm sticking with auto pause database until next month. I'm sticking with that folks. I want this to be completely free. I don't want any charge. So I'm gonna keep that as is. We could use that continue using database for additional charges. Once you select that radio button, I want to note, you can't go back to the auto pause the database until next month. Okay, scrolling down here on the screen, we can have a max V cores of four with the setting we have here with the auto pause. Also, I want you to note that the auto pause delay is set to one hour. We can't change that. And for our zone redundancy, it is off. We can't choose zone redundancy. That's one of the limitations here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit apply. This will take us back to our create SQL database screen. You can see all the options we've chosen so far. 
want you to notice backup storage redundancy is locally redundant backup storage. That's okay. It's a development database. Let's go to networking. All right. We see all our usual suspects, all our typical options. We can scroll down and we can see that we have our connection policy, add current IP. Let's go to security. Here in security, we have our Microsoft Defender for SQL option, Ledger, transparent data encryption. Let's go to additional settings. All right. In additional settings, we can see we have used existing data. Want to note, you cannot restore from an Azure SQL database backup. You can create an empty database or we can use sample. I'm going to use sample here. All right. After choosing sample, I'm going to throw in a couple tags that makes this easier to find later. And I am going to go to review and create. So let's select review and create. We select review and create. It's going to give us our screen of the options we've chosen. We want to create this. We want to see what this looks like. We want to use our Azure free database, our free general purpose Azure SQL for the lifetime of our subscription. There we go. Our deployment's complete. That took about five minutes. Going back to our SQL Server, there we have it. Pricing tier, free general purpose serverless Gen 5 2v core Azure SQL DB. All right. We want to query this. So I'm going to connect over here on the left hand side to query editor and preview. I'm going to log in with my Entra ID and I'm going to open up the tables. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to select the top 1000 rows from product. Look at that. We have data. Want to note, we can monitor our Azure SQL DB through metrics by looking at the free amount consumed and free amount remaining to make sure we know where we stand during the month to see if we're going to be paused. Okay, we could also create an alert. So we could create an alert at the 90% threshold. So here you can see I've created an alert for free amount remaining where it's less than 10,000. We could then use this alert to email ourselves that we're getting close to consuming our 100,000 V core seconds for the month and that it's going to auto pause. All right, that is crazy cool. Microsoft is providing us with an general purpose Azure SQL DB that can have up to four cores that can have up to 32 gigs of storage that will auto pause when we hit 100,000 seconds of V core usage and not charge us for the lifetime of our subscription, regardless of our subscription type. All right. So next steps. Go on out there, try this new offering of a free Azure SQL DB. And you know where we like to keep it going, down in the comments below. Let us know what you think of this new offering. Let us know what you would like to see with this new offering. And always, and always, be good to each other, y'all. Try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try